In this triad exercise, we're asked to find the equation of the line shown in the graph. When we have one point on the line, and the y-intercept is <clears throat> at a whole number or an obvious uh, interval in between, depending on what the scale is, we can always use slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b to find the equation of the line. So first let's identify the point that we have that's not the y-intercept. That's at 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this point right here is 5, 4. And then our y-intercept is right here at 0, 1. <clears throat> so first let's use the y-intercept and the point that we have on our line to determine the slope. So we use the slope formula. So first we're finding slope. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Since we're given the graph, you could just as easily uh, use you know rise over run, go over from 0, 1 to 5 and up to 4. But I'm going to use the slope formula since we have our two points. So let's use 5, 4 as our x2, y2. So 4 is the y term minus the y term in our y-intercept, which is 1, over x2 minus x1, which is 5 minus 0. And that equals 3 over 5. So our slope is 3 fifths. And we have that our y-intercept is 0, 1. So that means that b equals 1 from the y-intercept, 0, b equals 0, 1. So now we just simply plug this into our slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So y equals, we determined m to be 3 fifths x plus b, we determined to be 1. So the equation of the line shown in the graph is y equals 3 fifths x plus 1. And we could check this by uh, checking any other points that, that we could find uh, by substituting in the points that we, we already had, our, our y-intercept and the, the point that we were given that was pointed out that's at whole number coordinates. Uh, but we would find that it does satisfy this equation, any point that's on that line, and that the equation for the graph, uh, the line shown in the graph is y equals 3 fifths x plus 1.